Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to this new lecture on grammar for beginners in translation. <coughs> We're uh, studying together a book called Building Skills for the Teufel, the structure section, section. The book is printed by Longman. It's written by Nancy Stanley and Carol King. This session will be recorded and will be broadcast on YouTube channel later on about two weeks from now. For that reason, if you are, do not want your voice to be heard or you do not want your private information, namely your name, to be presented, so you can feel free now to leave this course. Otherwise, you're most welcome to attend this course. Today we're talking about another chapter. It's chapter number four, which is about the verbals. The verbals is a, is a bit difficult area of, uh, of discussion in terms of the structure and the grammar of English. <coughs> and we have some problems in translation as well. During this presentation today, you have the opportunity to raise your hand and ask any question i have just now lowered all the hands at any time if you have any question or you'd like to interrupt me for something just please feel free to raise your hand to ask this question we usually do not have time to to see the questions that are written otherwise it will interfere with other ex exercises that we're doing so before we start, it seems to be Ali is raising his hand, he's asking a question. Please, Ali, what's your question? Uh, really, I don't have any question, but I want to thank you so much about your great efforts, and uh, I appreciate everything that you are doing to us to improve our ability in translation and in grammar. Thank you so much, uh, sir. Thank you. So, Ali, thank you very much for what you said. Uh, I really appreciate your words and the words of all other colleagues who sent me similar remarks. We will uh, continue with this lecture today on the verbals, as I said. So, during the process, you may have, from time to another, some interruptions in the internet because usually the wireless internet service is usually intermittent. It's not always stable and for that reason we will not be able to guarantee a good quality of the voice unfortunately for us all uh, we will start as i said with the verbals and as usual i will start with an introduction <coughs> before the introduction there will be the checklist let's read it again check the subject and verb both present neither repeated this is very important the first one and it seems to be that this is the area where all people make mistakes. I'm talking about non-native speakers of English like us. Remember all the time the type of error more than the error to be corrected. Once you think of something in terms of the type of error, you say, for example, that here I have a subject repeated, here I have a, a missing verb, here I have a verb form and tense agreement, etc. Once you have this sensitivity to the text, you will be able to write correctly, to understand the grammar correctly, and more importantly, you will translate correctly. Number two is check verb agreement tense and form. We talked about it. It's more difficult than the subject verb agreement, both present and neither repeated. Check for full subordination. I cannot really stress enough the importance of check for full subordination because it's one of the areas that we face problems in translation. I would like to ask you all to read this chapter again and again and again. And in every, every time you read this chapter, please try to, to translate to read. Some of them are phrases, they are not complete sentences. Other are complete sentences, they are not phrases. Some of them are just simply subordinated clauses. And please, this is this area. I cannot really stress enough the importance of this area and relevance of this area to translation from Arabic into English and vice versa. In most situations, I have seen hundreds and hundreds of people writing in their works. They are doing their translation job. They are making mistakes in the check for full subordination. 
this problem appears especially in all the performance in the form for performance of most students at the university level at least so i can't really stress enough this the importance of rule number three which is take for full subordination we'll move to check the verbs in this lecture today then we'll move to check pronoun form agreement and reference pronoun is very important for cohesion and the sentences check what form and check what order check for parallel structure check for unnecessary repetition and then check for usage correct usage Fatima is raising her hand. She wants to ask a question. Please, Fatima, the floor is yours. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, sir, concerning check for full subordination, please can you give us examples? I'm, I think this is a weak point. Um, Fatima, could you please repeat your question? Uh, sir, concerning check for full subordination. Yes. Uh, I need you to, to give us examples because I think this is quite a weak point of mine. Check for full subordination was the full lecture of yesterday. So what kind of example would you like me to say? You were last, yesterday you were with us, I think. So full, full subordination is just as we explained yesterday. <laughs> so I, Is it what we did today? It was yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about full subordination. Uh, I understand your point because you want to say what's the mistake in, in full subordination. The mistake could be, for example, in, in using if, when, where. The mistake is when we when we use the uh, the the who, who is whom, or all of these things. They are fully explained in the, in the previous chapter. But most importantly, your question is a very good one, by the way. Most importantly. What happens with the students is that when they translate from Arabic into English, they make lots of mistakes in subordination. For example, instead of saying because he was ill, something happened, they would say because ill, without the subject, without the verb, in the subordinate clause. And in many cases, we have this problem, in many cases. So, this is one example. Another example is when we have the, the transformation of rules in, at play, like, for example, when we have the adjective clause or the or what any kind of clause that comes at the beginning of the sentence instead of coming at the middle of the sentence all of these problems happen because of subordination yes this is very important so uh, i don't know you can read the, the chapter again i know i know it's demanding and i know it's very difficult to understand sometimes but mainly i would like to ask you to read for translation purposes try to read anything there and if you have any problem just post it in the Facebook group so that we can all of us deliberate the issues of concern. I hope that I have answered your question, uh, Fatima. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Fatima, for your question. So let's let's say that we move now to the next exercise. Here again, we have uh, in, on page. We're, we're, we're by the way on page one hundred and ninety, and we will start with the list that we have here from A to J and each one matches a special area of error here and the Arabian horse was so sick that died before the veterinarian's arrival so what's the mistake here Mesa please um, the problem here is uh, that uh, uh, that it died it should be that it died full subordination so here we have full subordination problem because the Arabian horse was so sick that it died. So it's full subordination. Thank you very much, Mesa. Who would like to answer number two? Peter got the best degree, though he spent less hours studying than everyone else. Now we have Ali, please. Uh, the problem with so. Uh, we have to use also, not so. I am talking about number B. Peter got the best grade, though he spent less hours studying than anyone else. You say that though is a problem? Yes. Well, in fact, no, it's not though. Though, there is nothing wrong with it. The problem is with less. Do you know why? Yeah, because it's uh, not uh, uh, 
it's not working with the, the best grade, so it must, must be a higher hours, not no, less no, hours. No, 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 it's not because of that, but less cannot be used with hours simply because hours is countable and less cannot come with countable mm. nouns. Thank you very much anyway, Ali. Yes. Thank you very much. In fact, we like all, I like all the time the wrong answers because we make discussion, otherwise we will not be here. Number three, who would like to do number three? If I am not mistaken, only Mesa is raising her hand, so please uh, go ahead, Mesa. Number three, C. Uh, uh, the problem here, uh, okay, it is a word form. It should be, it is dangerous to transport eight people in one small car. Yes, exactly. So it is word form. Exactly, it's word form, and this is danger. It must be dangerous. Thank you very much, Mesa. Now, number D, who would like to do it? The dealer sells cars to many people made in Japan. And we'd like to have Wala. Please, Wala, what's the mistake here? Uh, that dealer sells uh, cars made in Japan to many people. So, what's the mistake? What type of mistake do we have here? Uh, what's the mistake? Know. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Wala. The mistake here is what's called word order. Can you translate this one? Who would like to translate for me? Number D for word order. Who would like to translate it? Iman, could you please translate number D? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, no, this is an incorrect translation. In this way, the, the sentence says, يَبِيعُ ذَلِكَ التَّاجِرِ السَّيَّارَاتِ إِلَى كَثِيرٍ مِنَ النَّاسِ الْمَصْنُوعِينَ فِي الْيَابَانِ And this is the mistake. So basically, we have word order oh. mistake. This one made in Japan should be with the cars and yes. not with the people. Thank you very much. Iman. Should be with the cars. Yes, thank you very much, Iman. Now we move to number E. Tickets for the frightened movie are sold out. Who would like to? Who would like to do this one? I think Abdullah would like to say something. One moment, Abdullah, please. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Ahmed. I think I assure. Tickets for the frightening movie are sold out. So what's the what's the error here? Frightening. It's called the verb. The error is with frightening. For the time. Yes, verbal. Well, as, yes, thank you very much. It's verbal. Thank you. It's not uh, frightened. It's frightening. Now, as such, tickets for the frightening movie are sold out. The translation is at uh, at the theater. At Nafudat at the theater. Al Khasa bil film al Khaif. And this is wrong, of course. Now we move to number F, and if it's going to be done by Fatima, please. Uh, Fatima, please. In Holland, black beautiful tulips are grown. I think it's word order. Uh, that no, there is no word order here. No, no, there's no. In Holland, that beautiful lips, it's not word form, definitely, because we already had it here in Made in Japan. So think about something else. In Holland, that beautiful tulips are grown. What's the type of error? Think about it for a moment. Uh, that, uh, I can't think that beautiful tulips are grown in Holland. No, no, it's not a problem. It's, we do not have any problem here with the word form, but we have something here with that. Do you, do you, do you find it correct, that, when you say that? Is that correct as a pronoun? No, in Holland, no. In Holland, beautiful tulips are grown without that. Okay, thank you very much, mm -hmm. Fatima. In fact, no, you have to say in Holland, those beautiful tulips are grown. This is a pronoun form. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank you, Fatima. So this is a bit tricky. It's a pronoun. It should be in Holland, those beautiful tulips are grown. It's pronoun agreements because it's plural and that should be those. Number G, dead animals should be promptly buried as soon as they are no longer alive. I think this is obvious. So who would like to translate the Zainab? 
the, the mic is yours, Zainab. Well, yes, welcome, uh, Mr. Mohammed. Uh, dead animals should be promptly, uh, promptly uh, carried. Uh, uh, yes, uh, 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 which they are no longer alive. So, what's the problem? Yeah. Uh, as soon as uh, uh, unnecessary repetition, as soon as it's the main, uh, is the main, uh, main uh, promptly means promptly. Yes, then thank you very much. It's really unnecessary yes. repetition of two elements. Yes. First of all, when you say yes. promptly, it means as soon as, and when you say they are dead, they are no longer alive. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. This is the answer. Yes. Neither of the boys have arrived yet. What's the problem here? with this and I think we will move now to so what about the rest of the people here we've got only a few people one two three four five six seven only seven people and eight people out of 26 only eight people are just participating out of 26 only eight people are raising their hands is there any reason for this anyway I don't know it's up to you all. It's always up to you. I don't care. Amina, please, yes. Amina, yes. Could you please unmute yourself because I already unmuted you from the screen. Uh, yes, the Amina. problem of uh, verb agreement it should be uh, subject verb agreement. It should be neither of the boys has. has. It has arrived yet, yes, thank you very much, because neither, as we said in the previous chapter, in one of the previous chapters, neither is always singular, it's not plural. Thank you very much, Amina. Now we move to, to I, everyone but the janitors has their own parking space. So, which one? Everyone but the janitors has their own parking space. Yes, Saber. Uh, everyone but, but the generators has their own parking space. I think a generator uh, which is there with its... Everyone but the janitors. So what's the problem? Uh, I think... Uh, What's about this one? We said that everyone, everyone is singular and it must be its here. You cannot say has there, it has its own, has, has his own park, everyone but the janitor has his own parking space. Uh, maybe have, I'm not sure about this truth, is the truth. Maybe it is everyone, the janitors have their own parking space, I'm not sure. You have to see the chapter on everyone but the janitors, I'm sorry. I will not be able to answer this question as well. So, Saber, could you please move to J? It could be so subject verb agreement, I don't know. Neither have this is subject verb agreement. So, this one is probably the, it has to do with the there because it, is, it should be its, it should be his, I'm sorry, not but there, it should be his. So, it goes with the uh, pronoun, pronoun form, something like this. So, check for, for pre pronoun form agreement reference. I think this one, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure, it's not unnecessary repetition, everyone, the janitors, I'm not sure. Anyway, Sabah, could you please do number J, because number I, we need to <coughs> to try to ask ourselves what it, what, what it has to do, yes. During vacation, he plans to swim every day and daily evening walks. What's wrong with this sentence? Uh, I think uh, he is... He is planning blaming During to swim vacation, he, every day. He plans to swim every day. The problem here is cyber with every day. This should be one word and not what is the word form. Anyway, thank you very much, cyber, for your participation. 
so we have here a problem with this one everyone but the janitor so this one we said is uh, subordination this one is uh, word usage this one is word form this one is a message repetition the verbal and here we have a pronoun so this is the pronoun an unnecessary repetition here i'm not sure no this is word order this is unnecessary repetition this is subject and verb both present neither repeated now this one should be the agreement verb form agreement so everyone with the janitors it seems to be that we have to say have as only has just said i think it should be have i'm sorry this is a bit confusing but anyway i think it should be have because we have tried all of these things and there is only one one item left which is check verb agreement tense and form so here it should be everyone but the janitors have their own parking space this is the only thing that i can think as omni has just suggested in the questions text the verbals are a bit confusing and we have three types of the verbals first of all we have the infinitive i'm now lowering your hands because there are no more exercises for the moment and uh, here this is interesting this is very interesting What's wrong if I say, I am looking forward to see you? Is there any person who would like to answer this question? Maha, yes, please. I'm looking forward to see you. What's wrong with this? Okay, uh, it should be, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Do you know the reason? Um, I'm not sure of the reason, uh, but, but we have started uh, it okay, like I understand that, but this is this is a problem. We need to know the type of error that we have. If you say, if you say, oh, we're looking forward to seeing you, to here is a preposition. But when you say to see yes. you, it's going to be an infinitive particle, which is wrong. You cannot say, أنا أتطلع أن أراك or لكي أراك. It's the same in Arabic, by the way. So this is the question for um. you, Maha. Do you say, أتطلع أن أراك or uh, uh, We should say Yeah, okay, because the same thing. So two has two meanings. The first one is uh, ila and the second one is an, which doesn't uh, work in, uh, in seeing you, etc. Okay, thank you, Maha. And uh, I would like just to ask you now to look at these uh, examples here. The chapter says the verbs have several ways one of them is to start is to say to speak and the second one is speaking and the third one is spoken so three three ones so to speak what we have in arabic it's called al masdar al masdar al awwal what we have in arabic ism al fa'al ism al fa'al they are very closely related and i would like to encourage you all the time to, to try to see them and to study them now this is the the example that we have here we will do it in translation rather than in grammar to make it more relevant to your experience in translation. So to laugh, to laugh. Is it an yadhak, an yadhak al dahik? It could be both. An yadhak, it could be al dahik, or is it ila yadhak? Which one do you think is correct? So I will do this exercise for you this time, but you will do the other ones on your own. So basically, to laugh, to laugh, it means. To laugh means an yadhak. It has to me to two ways of rendering that al dahik. As far as the second was is concerned, it is ila al madina, ila al madina. And by the way, this is second, the second page of the verbal, and this is page number 199. So, number three, two, trip. Two, trip. This is going to be something like Ila al <coughs> Number four, Yublir. Or Al Iblar, Iblar, etc. So I'm doing all of these things for you. The first four ones, let's do the, the fifth one, which is ila al-hadiqa. Or in fact, not ila al-hadiqa, ila al-mutanazza. 
Number six, who can do number six and seven and eight and nine and ten? Who would like to do them? I want a translation of each one of them. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there is nobody who's raising your head. No, there is somebody. There is somebody. There is somebody, and only I will start with Amani and then with uh, yes, Amani. I think yes, I can see her. Amani, please number six. Uh, to be angry, anirabab or alghadab. Fine. Let me. Uh, I'll try. Yes. Anirabab. What about next one, number seven? Uh, الحديقة. I'm afraid it's not إلى الحديقة. يصف السيارة أو صف السيارة. Oh, okay. I don't know about your language. Maybe you say something different. يركن السيارة etc. Down. To shout. Okay. What's the shout? أن يصرخ أو صراخ. أن يصرخ أو صراخ الصراخ. I think I have to correct this one. Mm. To the shore. Ira uh, Shatter. No, interesting. We have number ten. Yeah, Ira. I will say Ilan Major. Thank you very much, Amani. Major. A very good job. Thank you. Yes, thank you. So we move now to number 11. And I think we have number 11. Number 11, it's going to be done 11, 12, 13, and 14, and 15. I think they will be done by somebody who hasn't talked yet, which is, in this case, we have. No, I, I cannot read the names very well. Okay, Am Amne. Yes, Amne hasn't talked so far. Amne to save. To save and yahfab. Yes. To drive, no, it's... No, you have another one, which has al-hifad, both. Al-hifad or an yahfab. Okay, both. No, not or. We have to say both of them, please. Yes. Mm -hmm. drive. Both of them. To drive, it's al-qiyada or an yaqud. It's both of them. Yes. To run, to run, and yerkud our rakd. Yes. To the drive, uh, al qiyada or an yakud. Well, I'm sorry because we have the drive, we do not have noun. It's not a drive in this way. To the best of my knowledge, the drive could be in ila uh, al qiyada. I don't know what this does mean. Perhaps he's talking about the garage or something because the garage is sometimes called the drive. Anyway, mm -hmm. but it's not Qiyada, certainly, certainly no. To peace, mm -hmm. how do you say to peace? As-salam. So it is ila as-salam, because oh. it's a noun, yes. Ila as-salam. Okay, ila as-salam, ila as-salam. Or lis salam etc. Thank you very much for your answers. Now we move to wala, please. Wala, we have 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, I can see them. 19, okay. And to his shout, no, no, we're having to the walk. We have to the walk to hear laugh to pieces okay, to the walk. shout to cheer. Number 16, please. Okay, to the walk, Ilan Mesh. Correct, to the walk. Okay. okay. And to her laugh, in a Okay. Two pieces um, in a exact of Qatar, two pieces. To the child in a um, to tear, um, a tear, uh, I don't know what the meaning of tear. Tear, uh, <laughs> يعني أن يبكي. And sometimes it can be said in Buka. Anyway, we have two both meanings. Thank you very much.
now this is the first exercise it was a bit easy now when the second ex exercise says the directions and infinitive can function as noun and adverb i think we explained that before but it cannot function as a finite verb in clause underline the label subject and finite verb as usual okay there it doesn't we are not interested in this exercise in this type but i would like to ask you to translate those ones so basically all of them are correct there's no mistake what i want you to do is to translate them from Ara from english into arabic i would like somebody to translate from number one to number five and this is a very important rule which is the verbal so in translation in grammar it's not that important for me to to say which one is non-finite to say which one is finite I remember maybe when we were at school we were more interested in how to use it, the in how to use the present simple simple than knowing what the present simple is this is the same thing i'm not interested in in talking about where is the verb where is the infinitive etc it's not it's not my job here but we want to translate i will ask now please tara to i think tara is here tara please uh, the can i ask tara to talk one moment yes please one moment one moment please yes tara please Okay, uh, about uh, what translated the, the, uh, to the walk, I think the walk is a noun, not a verb. Uh, we can say to al mamsha, not al mashi, as it's noun, not, 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 yeah, uh, not a that. verb. Yeah, I understand that, yes, it has yeah. many, many words. Anyway, we were just talking yeah. about prepositions and other things. I agree with you, yeah. mamsha, okay. it's not that. Okay. Now, do you have one, uh, okay. on, it's, we're now on page 199, page 191, yeah. sorry. 191 yeah. and we have the exercise which says the cats mm -hmm. want to eat can you please translate it to read to read to read to this is the default we put first of all the verb thank you yeah. very much number two yeah. how do you translate it to uh, to cooperate with the others is important um uh, that doesn't um, work, that no. doesn't work because we have two. No, it doesn't, yeah. To cooperate, yes. this is a verb, so either you say an yusa'id or you say al musa'ada, what do you mean? Yeah. Or a ta'awun, in other yeah. words, yeah. cooperate is ta'awun, not musa'ada. Yes. So what do you say? It's uh, either an yusa'id, an yata'awun, an yata'awun or a ta'awun. An yata'awun ma'al akhari, ma'al akharun, huwa shi'a muhum. So you cannot say a ta'awun, yes, of course. You have to say a ta'awun ma'al akhari, not al akharun. Muhim. Yeah. Number three, please. Yeah. Shelters came to settlers. Sorry, settlers. Settlers came to Texas to live. Ja, uh, I'm just starting with Ja. Yeah, Ja to Texas for إقامه or للعيش. So Ja, the المستوطنون للعيش. Number four. They are going to swim to uh, to shore. Definitely. So for the habul. This shore? So far, it's habuna, You can say that there is no problem with it. So far, it's habuna, the shore, the sea, or you can say so far, it's habuna, the shore. This is. Uh, one moment, from please. Are going, by the way, here because of word order, are going. Now I need to explain it. So they are going to swim to shore. They are still in the sea now. Now they are in the middle of the sea. Yeah. And they want to keep swimming mm -hmm. and swimming and swimming until they, re they reach the shore. Yeah, yeah. But if you say they are going to shore to swim, it means they are on the land. And they want to go to the shore mm -hmm. so that they can swim. So it's totally different because of mm -hmm. the okay. world, order, world order. So what you have here say is yeah. not it's the other way around. So فيسبحونا باتجاه الشاطئ. So يسبحونا وصولا إلى الشاطئ etc. Yeah, they're already swimming. So number five, please. Because remember, are going uh, to mean one. sofa. Do you know that? Yes. This is sofa. This is. Yeah, sofa. It means the future here. Uh, yeah. Yes, are going to all of it is sofa. It is not يذهبون. Anyway, Fred wanted to walk to school. Uh, Fred, uh, no, I, told you, I told you, by default, use the verb first. Arada, Fred, and you have a little bit of 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 a little bit of
فاين يذهب مش الى المدرسة او يمشي الى المدرسة both of them are correct, correct no problem so okay. let's okay. let's move to another person now and I think thank you very much Tara is that okay. your name Tara am yeah. I reading it correctly okay. yes okay thank yeah, you yeah yeah correct thank you very much Tara this is beautiful name I guess because very strange uh, it's all, all also has uh, similar to Tara which is in, in Arabic we have Tara so English and Arabic usually they are beautiful names if they have one meaning in English and one meaning in Arabic certainly it's, uh, it has a name in English it should be and in Arabic so it's very beautiful to have a name of to, that's got meaning uh, here and there anyway anyway thank you we move to Shirin we have Shirin please Shirin we have number six seven eight and nine we are still on page 191 okay number six حاولت أن تضع محفظتها في جيبها Number seven. Yes, okay. نعم محفظتها. I'm not sure. Is it I'm not sure. What do you think? حاولت أن تضع محفظتها أتها أو محفظتها. تضع هي محفظتها so it's مفعول به it's object so. So do we say محفظتها with the uh, Maybe with the fat yes. Number seven. Okay. Number seven sentences. Uh, and then it will buzz a bell. What uh, senators mean? Senators. 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 Mean? senators uh, Sorry? Uh, or a shiuch, you can say. Okay. Yanui a shiuch and yet faro al fatura? No, this has nothing to do with the bill. Bill means Mashru al Qanun. To pass, yukir. Intend ينوي 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 الأعيان أشياء الأعيان الإقرار إقرار مشروع القانون. Bill is a draft law. It's called bill. Number eight. Yeah. Number eight. تحب أن تستمتع هي تحب دائما أن تستمتع بوقتها. So I have a problem with entertain because I don't think it is تستمتع because entertain. To entertain people, to meet their wakta. But let us check. Maybe you're right. Entertain, mm -hmm. because I am not a dictionary, so we have to perform activity. It entertains you. It amuses you. So entertain. It seems to be to meet al akhirin. Let's let me just make sure if it's uh, it's a person who goes and dances and sings, etc. If you entertain people, if you entertain idea anyway, it's not clear. So you can say just some time on it's. I believe it's since say to meet al akhirin anyway, like dancing, like singing, etc. Et Students go to school to learn. Yes, how about to love in the Number number ten. 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 أن تأكل ثلاث مرات يوميا أمر صحي أن يأكل المرء ثلاث مرات أمر صحي etc. Yes. Thank you very much, Shireen. I think we can move now to someone else. We have Sarah. We have Sarah. Do don't we? Yes, we have Sarah. Please. I'm going to try looking the other, but I'm not sure. Uh, smoke tends to rise the soaring. So we have uh, uh, number 11. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm I mean, sure. this, I'm sorry, this does not make any sense in Arabic. I'm sorry for that. عادة ما يرتفع الدخان إلى إلى السقف. Number 12. Oh, okay. Okay, to drink while driving is dangerous. من الخطر أن تشرب خلال القيادة أو أثناء القيادة. Well, could you please not use any alternatives? I hate alternatives. Just say one word. So, من الخطر أن تقو أن تشرب في أثناء قيادة السيارة. Okay, number thirteen. She went to. ذهبت هي لل للبريد. Number 14, please do not say oh, it gets on my nerve, please, please. If it's a mistake, it's okay. okay. It's just a mistake. 
it's just a mistake, but never <laughs> yeah. say all. Yes. Okay. Number fourteen. Yes, So we have a problem here with the words you cannot say yatmah because hope means yamal. Totally different words. So yamal al ulama or bil uthuri ala ilaj al salatan. That's okay. Now finally number fourteen. No, not exactly. Thank you very much, Sarah, and thank you for your participation here in this exercise. We will try to move to somebody who has never said anything till the moment. Yes, we have uh, Abdullah and we have Jumana. We will start with Abdullah. Please, Abdullah, we have five sentences left, I think. 16. Uh, she is going to. 16, yes. She is going to break his heart. Uh, Fine. Number 17. They plan to move to the north. يخططون إلى التقدم باتجاه الشمال. Well, <laughs> Abdullah, you know and I know why you 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 say تقدم. You know it very well, don't you? It's not taqadam okay. al-intiqal here. We're talking about people normally. Okay. Ordinary people, just ordinary people, not like you, not like me. Definitely. But you are, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you know as yeah, I know okay. why That's you a... are saying yataqaddam. I like this word anyway. So it's yantaqil. They are simply want to leave their house here yeah. and move to another place. So, but I, anyway, I like okay. it that you said Thank move uh, yataqaddam. Okay, fine. Number 18. Yeah, I do my best to be like you. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you see, it okay. seems that your your mind is being occupied by other things, which I very well know. Anyway, number eighteen. Thank you. Okay, to kill bugs, spray the area regularly. من أجل قتل الحشرات. You know bugs, it's الحشرات. Okay, fine. قم برش قم برش المنطقة بانتظام. قم برش المنطقة. Okay, Abdullah, we do not say Qumbirash, you say Rusha. Rusha, we do not say Qumbirash, we say Rush. Ida Aratta Katla, Ida Aratta Katl Al Hasharat, Rusha Al Mantaka Bintidan. Number 19. Okay. They flew to Austin to see their friends. Um, Safaru Ila Austin Min Ajil Mushahadat Azdiqah. That's fine, but you say flu, safaru, we can say taru, there's no problem. Number 20, uh, the last one, no problem I'm, with it. Yeah. I tend to use safa, uh, taru, but I think... Yeah, yeah, safaru uh, is okay, not, because okay. people go uh, usually so. by plane anyway, it doesn't make any difference here. To drive to New York is her plan. to New York is her plan. Al-Qiyada ila New York hiya khuttatuha. Thank you very much. Please do not say, oh, do not give me alternatives. Alternative. Alternatives really get on my nerves. Thank you very much, Abdullah, for your participation. Thank you for the uh, for for doing all of these words and sentences in the right way. Now here is talking about gerund, and also we need to translate them. We do not need to do this exercise in terms of grammar. Where is the verb? Where is the the noun, uh, although it's very important to know, of course, that gerund is always singular. It's not, in fact, plural. So, who would like to do number one, two, three, and four, and five? The first five sentences, who would like to do them? We'll try to see people who haven't talked so much today, and I think we will have... I start with Wala. Yes. Translate number, or number what? One. Number one, please. Could you please translate number one? Okay. Uh, swimming is a good exercise. Uh, please do not say. Uh, no, no, it doesn't work with this one to say oh, 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 etc. Never say oh, please. Just give me one sorry, answer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It gets on my nerves. Okay, yes, swimming two. is. Two, please. Okay. We finished. We're uh, done with one. Two, okay. He has been eating too much. Um, 
انه يتناول ياكل الكثير That's fine, number three. They go finishing every weekend. In them, they have one of the side. All the athletes. There is no in them. This is dangerous now to say. No, you've been saying in them for so many times. Well, we do not use in them unless there is a kind of emphasis. And I think Ali said it yesterday. We do not really say in 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 at all. يذهبون للصيد كل عطلة نهاية الأسبوع. That's fine. We do not need to say yeah. no. And by the way, just read the words correctly. It's not fishing. Not finishing. It's fishing. Okay. Number four. Your writing is improving little by little. كتابتك تتحسن شيئا فشيئا. Fine. Next. He hates receiving. Sorry. He hates receiving anonymous notes. هو يكره تلقي ملاحظات أو استقبال سوري أو استقبال تلاحظ ملاحظات أنونيمس كان بي مجهولة المصدر مترادفة مجهولة المصدر thank you very much ولا thank you very much for your answer but please ولا remember that we do not start with he هو we do not start the sentence with هو we do not start the sentence at all with هي with هما هم etc we do not start it if there is a verb there is a verb, you do not start with Anna, with Hua, with etc. Just please try to to be economic in that. Now we move to Ali, and Ali had a bit, but I will uh, ask you to talk whether you like it or not. So Mr. Ali, could you please uh, answer these questions? We have now number, I think, uh, six, yeah. seven, eight, nine, or ten, please. Yeah, N number six. Please. Number six, teachers, teachers despise cheating. يكره المعلمون الغش. Number seven. Number seven, back uh, backing is popular among college students. Uh, حقيبة الظهر uh, أو وضع الأغراض على الظهر uh, هو أمر شائع uh, في طلاب الكلية أو عند no, طلاب الكلية. Uh, now you say backpacking وضع الحقيبة على الظهر okay maybe what about yeah I'm not sure is backpacking really it is the first time I find this word in this sense I agree with you related to college student yeah حقيبة الظهر وضع الأغراض على الظهر هو أمر شائع yes I agree with you في طع but in fact backpacking has another meaning which is go traveling with a backpack so maybe it's traveling anyway Maybe, yeah. It could have this meaning, it could have another one. To the best of my knowledge, it is traveling with a backpack. Okay, just forget about it. It's simply putting it on their backs. Anyway. Okay. Now, number eight. Okay. He can't go out without drinking too much. Uh, we do not have بشكل كبير الشرب لا نعم الشرب number nine yeah my students are turning in their papers on time this semesters يتحول الطلاب يتحول طلابي إلى أوراقهم في هذا الوقت من هذا الفصل okay we have some problems here with your translation Ali and I will correct them First of all, we have the past participle, which means that it must, it must be uh, shifting, shifting, there must be a shift in Arabic. Instead of starting with the verb, we start with the subject because it is emphasis here. The emphasis is in the, in the, in the, uh, in the continuous tense. So in Arabic we say, طلاب يسلمون, طلاب يسلمون, which means now. طلاب يسلمون أوراقهم في الوقت المحدد هذا الفصل. So these are the the problems that you have. First of all, we start no. with the subject, not with the verb in Arabic. And second, turning on is not تحولون يسلم. And we have on time, which means uh, on the right time, in the right time. In other words, not the Finally, number uh, 10. Uh, roller skating on uh, rough sidewalks invites accidents. التزحلق على ال على جوانب الطريق ال الخشنة يؤدي إلى الحوادث. That's right, and I agree with you because this is a very long subject. It's very difficult to put to put verb first, so we should put the subject instead in Arabic. Thank you very much, Ali. That's very good of you to say that. 
Thank you for your participation and now I think we will move to the next exercise. Now exercise says uh, we have, again we need just to translate, we need just to translate them from English and Arabic, that's all things we have to do. Uh, now uh, could you please, uh, Maysa, could you please, Maysa, please, would you like? Yes, uh, but actually I have a question uh, before uh, I start translating. Could I uh, ask it? Just ask what you want to say. Okay, uh, it is uh, at page uh, 180, uh, 190, sorry. Okay. Uh, a number of uh, I. Uh, okay, uh, the sentence says that everyone but the janitors has their own parking space. Um, uh, actually, I uh, when I uh, trans uh, translate uh, when I uh, answer this uh, sentence, I found that everyone um, uh, should be followed by a singular uh, pronoun. Um, uh, so uh, I uh, answered it as followed: uh, everyone but the janitors has its own parking space. Uh, no, I, you I think say we should. You cannot say everyone. Uh, it. Let me say something else, Mesa, before we. We need to we will say that everyone we cannot say it's this is one second when we ran uh, uh, through the whole rules we found that we answered all of them except one which says uh, verb agreement and form so that was the only area that matches this one there is no nothing more we cannot say his this is why we yeah we, uh, we i uh, Used it because I think we should use the uh, a neutral pronoun like they or uh, whatever. No, no, you like, cannot say uh, it. You cannot say everyone. It's you cannot do that now. And there is something that I have to tell you. As I said, uh, as I uh, explained, uh, we tried to match all the the words and everything, and we found that uh, they should be. There's only one rule left out for us for the for the exercise, which was, which was what, by the way, which was the, which was the verb uh, form and uh, agreement. Well, anyway, agreement in tense. So this is why we do not have another option. So definitely, it's not pronoun. Definitely, it's not pronoun because pronoun was there with another example. So could you please do now the exercise here that we have now? And thank you for your note, but I will, okay. I'm trying at the same time to follow up with the, to see on the book, uh, everybody but the, no, I don't know, everybody. I'm trying to find mm -hmm. out, so please just mm -hmm. translate while I'm searching. Okay, um, should I start with number 11 or 12? Uh, because I forgot uh, at which sentence he stopped. Could you please read, because I cannot see it at the moment. Okay. Uh, 11. What does it say? No one appreciates their okay. singing so loudly. Yes. Right? لا يقدر أحد غنائهم بصوت عالي. غنائهم بصوت عالي. غنائهم. It should be غنائهم, right? Yeah, it is an apology. Yes. Uh, uh, gardening has been uh, becoming more popular. يصبح uh, التشجير uh, شيئا جدا او اه يصبح تشجير اكثر شيوعا اوكي ناو اي وود لايك تو سي سمثينغ اباوت يور يور ذا ايفري داي ذا ايفري وان بات ذا جانيتا اي فاوند ات اون بيج 148 اند ات سيز ايفري وان بات ذا جانيتا هاف ليفت ذا بيلدينغ شود بي هاز ليفت ذا بيلدينغ بات وين ات از جانيترز ات شود بي هاف وين ات از جانيتا ات شود بي هاز ذيس از ذا كويشن اتس we apply the rule of proximity with everyone but. Did I answer your question? It's subject verb agreement. I repeat the question that we're asking about, about this subject, everyone but the janitors. It's on page 148. The answer is there. It says, if it is one, everyone but the janitor, it should be has. If it is everyone but the janitors with an S, it should be have because this is verb. It's called uh, agreement, subject verb agreement. So please go on. I'm just okay. listening to you. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, so uh, this rule, uh, like uh, the one of um, uh, neither uh, neither nor uh, and either or. Yeah, I think it's the we same. Should, uh, it's the same. Yeah. Where, where, where uh, are you? Where are we now, by the way? Which page? 
I just forgot. Uh, I was looking now on the, on, the, on the book on other things. Now oh, you're yes, translating yes. something. Which page? Because I just I cannot follow. What okay, you it is. Uh, 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 I think it is on page uh, one hundred. It should be one hundred, and uh, the page is one hundred ninety-three. Uh, okay, that now yeah. just proceed forward, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, she thanked me for helping her. شكرتني على مساعدتها. شكرتني على مساعدتها. Please, no, all. please, 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 no, all. just fourteen. Sorry, but it okay. gets on my nerves. I told you it gets on my nerves. Yes, number number fourteen, please. Um, turning a corner quickly. It's trying to. Uh, okay, turning a, a corner. نتقال إلى زاوية أخرى. Um, I'm not sure about uh, its meaning. Um, okay, simply because it's a car, ostensibly it's a car. Now, number 15. Uh, he has obviously been staying at uh, 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 Okay, thank you very much. We say Sahira not staying up too late. Thank oh. you. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for that, and uh, and please uh, do not say or, or do not give me alternatives. I told you it gets on my nerves. You don't believe it so, because when it gets on uh, gets on my nerves, it makes me a bit uh, nervous. Not angry with you. I'm not angry with anybody. It just gets me, just gets on my nerve anyway. So thank you very much for your answers, and I think now we can move to number. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I would like to ask you please to be as fast as possible. Now we have uh, Saber, please. Yes. The children, <clears throat> yes. The children are growing tired. Okay. What should that mean? <clears throat> No, it has nothing. To do. No, it has nothing to do. Tarbiyat al Number the next one, please. Accepting too much. Could you please hold on, just one moment. So I was fixing the charge of this computer. So one moment, please. And we'll be set. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, sir. <coughs> yes, I'm listening to you now. Okay, can you hear uh, me? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Accepting too much Accepting leads too to much leads to frustration. Uh. التوقع بشكل كبير يؤدي إلى خيبة الأمل. Okay, we do not say بشكل كبير. التوقع أكثر بأكثر مما يمكن يؤدي إلى الإحباط. Frustration is an إحباط. خيبة الأمل. So خيبة الأمل disappointment. Frustration is an إحباط. Number eighteen, please. Having an accident can be costly. Uh, okay. Hadith, Hadith, Number 19, please. He is developing good handwriting. So we have several issues with your translation. First of all, it's not tahassanat, it is yatahassan. And second, you do not have tahassunuhu, tahassunuhu. So in other words, kitabatuha, she's loving good handwriting, kitabatuha tatahassan. Number 20. Growing up can be difficult 
que se veremos. التربية تحتاج إلى خبرة كبيرة أو صعبة. تحتاج means need and this is another word and can be يمكن. Growing up is not تربية إنما النمو. قد يكون النمو تجربة صعبة. Thank you very much, Sabi, for your participation. Now uh, you can see yourselves that they are simple sentences, simple words, and this is the problem. Our problem is not with the translation of difficult text, but with the simple text. In many cases, we have lots of difficulty that we face with such simple sentences. Yes, I agree with you that it's very difficult to translate them sometimes. Let me first of all uh, stop the recording and make a save and then go back to you. Keep tuned.